Hey everyone, Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. I'm with Dan Guvandri of Sarasota Avionics. A couple of years ago, gadgets like these, portable ADS receivers, were big. There were quite a few that came out on the market. The market has largely matured now, but there are some follow-on products, and uh, this is one of them uh, from Level Technology. It's the iLevel 2 SW, and we're going to take a look at what improvements they've made in this brief video. Uh, first, let's take a look at the hardware. And there's not a lot to it really. The box itself measures 4 inches by 3 inches and it's a little less than an inch high. Inside it has a WASH GPS with an internal antenna, an ADSB receiver that relies on this small rod antenna, and an AHARS or Attitude Heading Reference System. Like other products in this space, it's battery operated and it'll run for about 5 hours on a charge. Unique to the eye level are these solar cells which the company claims will extend battery life by about an hour. On the front of the receiver is the power switch, the charge port, and this small serial port for data transfer and automatic on-off operations. Level has another version of the iLevel called the 2AW. It's intended for experimentals and LSAs and has a couple of ports in the back for air data input. That turns it into a genuine, inexpensive ADAHARS. This Model 2 has been upgraded from the previous version. The iLevel communicates with the tablet wirelessly and setting it up just requires going into settings and confirming the network. As far as apps, the iLevel will work with 11 iOS apps and 6 Android apps. For this demo, I'm using the iOS version of WingX Pro. First, let's take a look at traffic. What you're viewing here is a screen recording of live traffic on a flight around Venice, Florida on an iPad 2 Air. What's new in the iLevel 2 is that it's dual frequency. While the previous version was a single frequency, that means it will see both 978 MHz UHT traffic and 1090 extended squitter traffic. Most of the latter these days is high altitude airline traffic and that's not really relevant to most GA flying. But more and more airplanes are equipping with UAT equipment and the eye level will see them but only if they're being interrogated locally. You'll see a lot of these airplanes on the display, but just remember, you're not going to see everything, so don't rely on a portable entirely for that. Worth mentioning is a little shadow airplane. That's because the airplane we're in has ADS-B out, and the eye level is seeing that signal. Here's a look at the AHARS output. Now, apps vary in how they display this. This is the free app that Level provides, and although it's intended primarily as a configuration utility, it does provide good attitude, altitude, and speed information. Wing X Pro allows you to split the screen with a nav map or plate on half the screen and the attitude indicator on the second screen. You can swap these or flip back and forth between screens. Other apps have similar functionality. Last, the weather data. Portable ADSB receivers receive FISB broadcasts pretty much throughout the U.S., although reception quality varies. Here in Florida, the data comes alive at about pattern altitude. FISB includes 11 weather products including textual reports, winds aloft, NOTAM data, and NEXRAD data to name a few. Apps vary in how they display this. Here you can see how WingX overlays the radar data. And yes, we definitely had some weather to get around on our demo flight. You can tap on any airport to call up a current METAR. You can also set graphic METARs for a quick glance at the weather en route. And you can find a full report on the iLevel 2 SW in the November 2015 issue of Aviation Consumer at aviationconsumer.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.